welcome back to another travel video, guys. Welcome to Los Cruces. We are doing FIU versus New Mexico State. We're here in Los Cruces at Aggie Stadium. Yeah, it was a fun little trip. We got here yesterday. We had a fun little day. We wanted to check out a couple of food places. As you guys know, the little food places is my favorite thing to do. We went into town and I didn't really get a chance to go to one of the places I really wanted to go to, which is Caliches Frozen Cuscards. I think I say Caliches or Caliches. I don't have to be at the stadium until 1.30 right now. It is 12 o'clock. And I kind of want to get some frozen yogurt or frozen cuscard. And apparently they have hot dogs there. So we're going to head over there right now. If you guys haven't done so already, go like and subscribe. These are fun videos to make. I know there's nothing in the background here, but you will be at the stadium soon. And you'll get a glimpse of what Aggie Stadium looks like. Best friend Tom and Jake Bear, Tom Tobacco and Jake Bear, pop them up right here. Ex-baseball players of Aggie Baseball. Uh, they played with Nick Gonzalez, who's in the major leagues now with the Pittsburgh Pirates. So it's fun. I get to visit their place when they officially finish school. So bad timing when your best friend's in the school that now you go visit and he's not at the school anymore, it kind of sucks. But we're gonna head over to Caliches. I think that's how you say it. Mark me if I'm wrong. I probably sound really dumb right now because I just said it completely wrong. But we're gonna go get some frozen cuscards and a hot dog. So let's head over there. All right, so we made it to Caliches. This is a funky place. Oh my gosh. This reminds me kind of like an old-fashioned Sonic. So I think I'm going to go up and get an order. As you can see on the menu, we'll just zoom in right here. You got some hot dogs. You have some frozen cuscards. Uh, what else you got? Zoom in some more. We have some specialty fudge, brownie, strawberry cheesecake. We go on the other side. It's the same stuff. All right. So let's choose our hot dogs, guys. What should we get? I think we should get the uh, Caliche's original or the regular dog. Ooh, they have an apple dog. That is nice. Oh, you got some nachos, chips. Man, they got a lot of stuff here. So this is either going to go really good or really bad. We will see. So stay tuned, guys. Let's go order it. All right, so we're at Caliche's right now. I got a unsweetened iced tea, and I got a two-dog combo. And there's a fly. Gosh, there's flies everywhere here. Uh, I got a two-dog combo. Combo. I got the original hot dog, and then I got the chili coleslaw hot dog. Um, after I eat this, I'm gonna go and get a custard, which is probably a very bad idea, especially going to work right after this. But let's give this a food review. Let's let's give it a try. Jake and Tom, you guys told me about this place. I can't tell as best friends if you guys really know how to eat, so we'll, we'll test it right now. So welcome to the hot dogs, guys. Look at that. So that is the original hot dog, and this is the chili hot dog. And then you got the iced tea. So let's give it a try. First, we're gonna start with the original hot dog. Hopefully I don't get it. Oh, it's nice and hot. That's good. All right, the original hot dog, as you guys can see. All right, so this is actually pretty good. For you kosher fans out there, I don't think it's kosher. All beef wiener right here. Basically, you're playing all Dodger Dodger hot dog. Let's say your little baseball hot dog with mustard, onions, uh, relish. Your typical Costco dog, let's just put it that way. You guys that go to Costco, is your original Costco dog. So, so far, out of a five, I'll score this. 4.5 out of five. The bun is a little stale, but that's okay. All right, guys, here's the pick in. What should we pick? The fudge brownie bliss, vanilla frozen custard blended with chewy brownie bites, hot fudge and topped with even more hot fudge. Yum. Adobe mud, sandbox, nana berry. Ooh, nana berry swirl. Try Anna, the very berry. The very berry. What is this one? The straw Anna. Oh my God, the very berry. Okay, we're getting the very berry. That's what we're getting. We got dessert. We got the very berry custard. Look at this. I love berries. My dad grew me up on blueberry cobbler and blueberry crumble. So my perfect dessert is always vanilla with blueberries or raspberries or I guess in the strawberries. So let's give this thing a try. This is very good. All right. So I have some cons. There's not enough strawberries, blueberries, and berries in here. It's like they put like five berries. They just filled it up with like vanilla ice cream and swirled some berries in it and some red red strawberry sauce and call it a day. So I would like a little bit more berries. It is very good, let's put it that way. I was thinking about getting the brownie pumpkin special because it is October right now. It's Halloween in a couple couple weeks. So thought about that, but 
hot fudge and me going to work does not mix well. So we stuck to the berries, the vanilla clean, sticked right to this. And I'm gonna finish this off. We're gonna get back in the car and now we're gonna head over to the stadium. So I'll let you guys know how this sits for the next couple hours. Disaster strikes, I'm sorry. Just giving you the pure honesty right here. So let's head over to the stadium. I'm gonna finish this up and let's get out. guys so we made it to the stadium welcome to aggie field or aggie stadium i think that's what it's called tom and jake you guys can tell me off of what you guys call this stadium but aggie stadium is really what it's called welcome to fiu versus new mexico state this is week seven i like to say week seven of college football i count zero week it really is week six in terms of standards but week seven because zero week counts so week seven a college football season we're here in new mexico and los cruces and this is gonna be a fun day. We're gonna walk around the stadium. You guys already saw the morning after um, me eating ice cream. Don't recommend I do that again. Don't wanna eat ice cream before work. I got a tummy ache before this. So little hidden facts, I got a tummy ache from eating ice cream. It is very good. I just don't sit well with dairy. So on that note, we're gonna head around the stadium and we're gonna check out Aggie Field and see how amazing this place is. So welcome to Aggie Stadium, home of New Mexico State University. So today we have a cart cam, which is awesome because we did not have one last week. If we turn, look at this amazing complex. So I have been told that this is the athletic department complex. There's weight rooms at the top in a way where students can come and learn and study and get all their stuff done. So a great way to have a great view over the whole entire field. It is very unique. I really like it. This kind of reminds me of Fresno State's football field upgraded. It's the same design, it's a half bowl. Um, you have the end zones that are kind of open. They decided to build a building with some nice turf, which is honestly so sick. Actually, it kind of reminds me of Montana Un University. I think it's Montana State or, Mo or Montana University. You guys can uh, quote me on that one in the comments. But yeah, I actually really like this field. It is nice, it is small and compact. It's perfect for New Mexico State. Uh, I'd like to see this place filled. I think it will get very loud in here but uh, they're having an okay season right now, so I'm not really sure. But let's keep looping around the stadium. So we are at the top of the press box or on top of the hill. I'm out of breath walking up this steep hill. As you can see, steep hill go all the way down. Show you the school a little bit. So here's a football field. We have a practice field right here. We have the baseball field out in the background. My screen's all dark, so I don't even know what I'm pointing at. That's where the baseball field is. It's where Jake and Tom hit dingers. Man, even Nick Gonzalez breaking records, ball flies here, like I said before. And of course the soccer field. So. It's a great sports complex. You guys need to come here and check it out. Check out their baseball, check out their basketball, check out their football, especially baseball. Baseball kills it here. So yeah, let's head into the press box.
So the game is officially over. Another successful day, another great game, another fireworks show. Every single time I do a game, I swear there's fireworks. So I have about 20 minutes to kill in the parking lot because there's one way in, one way out, just like Hawaii earlier. So I'm kind of relaxing, which is pretty neat. Uh, New Mexico State pulled off a big win against FIU. So they moved up to the top half of the leaderboards in the standings. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired. I got to wake up in five hours for a flight in, to Austin. I got to probably leave here at four o'clock, get to the airport at five, leave at six. So, and I'll be in Austin for the next couple days and then on my way to Boise, then to Vegas, and then back here next week. So kind of nonstop for this week. Week six and seven of college football season is a little bit hectic for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed this cool little experience in Los Cruces. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, I, I like making these videos. I do it for actually my grandpa, my grandpa who watches every single video. So hi, grandpa. Uh, I love you and I love that you enjoy watching these and you get to see me travel around the whole country. So I do it for you. And also my mom who keeps asking me, what did I do at work? So this is a little bit of that and for friends. I'm gonna go really get some sleep, everyone. Goodbye from Los Cruces and hello to Austin, Texas in the next video. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Think about our sponsor, My Whistlebox. My Whistlebox is a doubly encrypted service that allows you to keep your private information safe and exchange information securely between parties. My Whistlebox offers you e-signatures, privacy, notes, whistle pages, a ton of other cool features, and a better alternative than email. So if you're using email to send or receive private information, stop and start using My Whistlebox. Sign up today to get started with your free account. No payment required. There's no reason to not start today. Happy whistling.